And we're back with game three. Now, this is another dwarf game, but I decided to keep this one in because I think it was a fun game and it's definitely a different uh, dwarf build than the previous game. But before we get to our opponent's build, we can celebrate the fact that we have two wins and zero losses so far and that we finally managed to buy ourselves another war dancer. We still don't have an apothecary, but we have two war dancers, one with mighty blow, and we have a thrower and a tree now for this game unfortunately we had two uh journeymen because we had two pieces uh, two uh, wood elf linemen that didn't quite make it uh that's not a big problem for us the wood elf linemen are actually pretty decent and you do need some stuff that can get hit that's bound to get hurt and if that's journeymen all the better the pieces we really care about are our positionals, and we need to make sure that those stay somewhat decently safe. Uh, so feeling pretty good about that. Uh, our opponent this time has a different uh, dwarf build. Previously, we were up against a death roller. This time, there's one troll slayer, two blitzers, two runners, and then just enough uh, dwarf blockers to fill out to 11. They also have an apo and three rerolls sitting at Two wins, zero draws, and zero losses. Uh, so much more versatile and actually a lot quicker. And this team can probably move the ball decently quickly with two runners with movement six. And with three rerolls, they might even be able to do some handoffs uh, and catch to move the ball further. The, uh, the plan still remains the same, though. Go really aggressive. Try and get the ball from the runners and keep the blockers stuck on uh, my tree or other pieces that don't really matter that much. Let's see how it goes, shall we? We'll just do this. That'll have to be good enough. Now I'm going to turn off the innate skills again. It's also... I mean, we got, we got a lovely, like, mighty blow here. Is that going to matter? Unlikely. I mean, I will say, having played in bronze and meeting new players, I don't think it's a new player trap. Like, remember, we're, in, we're back in platinum now. And... I think I've played against Fabian L before. It might also be uh, Fab Ireland Netherland as a nickname, but we'll see. Like a good a good dwarf coach is gonna be is gonna be tricky. Um, an opponent that has just picked dwarves because they're a good counter to wood elves, I think we have a decent chance against. But we'll see how it goes. We have at least two rerolls, so that's nice. We keep doing, like, really deep kicks. Oh, draw. No one got a reroll. Oh, they have two assists. Is that what they bought? Yeah, they didn't They didn't buy the keg for the 50. They bought uh, two assistant uh, uh, coaches instead. Ugh. Well, that's not a great start. But this is weirdly placed, right? Because, yeah, I was like, clearly they want to hit this with this because they want to use the Troll Slayer on the tree. Okay, let's see how, how this goes. And this is a decent setup. This yeah, it doesn't block me from going getting through, uh, but it puts a throw th throws a wrench into my plans. I have to commit more pieces to get a two die here, so I can get through. But we can still run around, so it should be fine. Oh.
Excuse me? Okay, where are you gonna go? I just realized, hang on. So from a leap perspective, right? This guy, rather than run this. Oh, well, that's exciting. Oh, like rather than run around here, I think these guys can just like go stand here leap to here and it's a three plus and a two plus out rather than being three plus three plus two plus okay well with all of that said uh let's go get that ball Mighty blow! Didn't do shit. Cool. Uh, one more. I said one. And we got stunned. I guess I got too greedy. Then again, if I hadn't done that, this guy would have fallen over here. Would have been more okay. Well, no, I would have fallen. Well, that's obviously not how it works. But yeah, this is... Yeah, that's okay. So that's in range of our war dancer, which means they ha they have to blitz it with tackle. I'm guessing. Well, that didn't work for him. Cool. Okay, where's the rest of them? They're over here. Ooh, that's spicy. I think they need to reroll that. And they did, but they failed. So. Okay. Uh, before we do anything else, you go up here. You go up here. I think you also go up here. Uh, 
Okay. Um, I don't think I don't hear. that guy up. Elves! No, we don't have an app Apo yet because we have an extremely greedy build in that we now have two war dancers, a tree, a thrower, and two rerolls. Ooh. Things you love to see. Hey. Okay, so this can get over here, and then this can blitz this back and pick it up. But it can't really get anywhere after that, which is nice. Well, maybe th can this go be annoying? Yeah, this can be annoying. It can go here. That's annoying. I think the other thing that's nice to think about when playing against dwarves early on is that the scary pieces are actually these guys. Because they're really slow, right? Uh, well, more importantly, they have tackle, so the war dancers doesn't like them. But these guys don't have tackle, so the war dancer just stays upright. Pickup is bad. Oh, if I... Okay, but I want to blitz that, don't I? But can I? Come on. KO? Oh, well, it's done. Okay, uh... Okay, we're gonna go stand here. Oh, uh, you need to stand up. That's fine. 
So they can, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure they can, like, scatter the ball, but there are a lot more uh, elves here than there are dwarves, so that's nice. And it's their turn four and the ball is still here, so even if they pick it up now and get to here, it's then turn five, turn six, turn seven. So they have a chance here, they just need to have things go their way. And I think, yeah, these guys are going to be tied up by the tree, most likely. Okay, I think, I think that's, I think that's okay. Because this is not an assist, these guys have moved, this is the only thing that's left. What they really wanted was a, like, a POW follow-up. And then this guy could have blitzed this away. Now it's it's still probably a blitz here. Oh. Failed the dauntless. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, we'll stand firm. Hey, this is now working as intended. I do think we let the thrower run this in. Because I want the touchdown. What the fuck? happened with the dude's hair okay we're down to 10 but we're up a touchdown <laughs> he's a thrower not a picker upper I mean you're not wrong Another nice deep kick. Uh, moles under the pit. I like the fact that it says it's a uh, translated gamers rather than players. Or, which I think would have been more correct, coach. Coaches. But. This is also like the worst prayer, prayer of Nuffle, right? Because we rolled it, but. It, 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 like, it's bad for both of us. Uh, it is worse for, uh, for the dwarves, though, because they have four turns to get the ball down here. Uh, Marion Barry, it started telling, uh, telling you who, uh, who rolled what Prayer of Nuffle this season. So, it's new. Okay, uh, I'm badly hurt, so we're down to nine. That sucks.
They they messed up this setup again, which surprised me. Because it's like... It's not hard to fix. Okay, well... It's even easier to get through this time around. That's fun. Come on, Troll Slayer. Let's go. Let's tango. Oh. I don't need to move. It's a 4 plus to actually get Dauntless here. But, you know what? So far, it's... Uh, this time it worked out for him. I'm not basing here because I don't think it's, uh, it'll be worth it. Oh, uh, yeah, go here. Then... Well, that's boring. I think we'll leave these on the floor, actually. Also, check this out. So now they, they can commit more players to knock this tree down if they want. Which is why I dodged my dudes away. Well, it's not why I dodged, it's, they were also on the floor, so I didn't want them to get hit. Okay, so this is, remember, this is turn six. So, this has a total movement of 12. Uh, with, without rushing. With rushing, it's 16, and it's currently 15 squares away. So, for the next two turns, it needs to do, uh... It needs to do double, like, it needs to do two rushes next turn. And if it doesn't, they can't score. Um, Still didn't get it. That's where I'm from. Wanna reroll that? No. So now that we've counted the movement.
cool. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure the, has it actually been saved by its skull or has it just been, because that all, like that tends to pop up, right? I rolled a seven and the tree has mic below, okay, yeah. Well, it doesn't have Mighty Blow on uh, Two Die Uphill where I pick the skull. Because if if I'm... If the piece that you... Like, to use Mighty Blow and Claw, you have to be the piece that initiates the block or the blitz. So in that instance, he wasn't, wasn't saved. But it's, like, it's one of the things I keep forgetting as well, right? Like, it's... Uh, Okay, so I think the only way out of this now is to pass to this. I think that's all they have left. And then this has to cover this and this. And if they succeed with that, it works. Okay. Okay, um... I really wish I'd place these here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, roll the two. The moles. stand up maybe no you don't okay and if this runs here this then covers this direct path so it's gonna come down to a two plus oh we rolled a three okay cool they can't score. Actually, in hindsight, I should have dodged this out. Because this could have been a scoring threat. Because I have a turn left. I was like, why is there one popping up? There's no, there's no gauntlets there. Okay, here comes the foul. Double once, double once, double once, double once. 
That is not good. Six, four, six, four. I, I mean, it's a badly hurt, so it's fine, but we just had a full game where our other wood answer doesn't do anything. So that's not great. Uh, can you stand up at least? No. Okay. And that means we blitz this thing. Ooh, very spicy. Let's see if we get anything. Nope. Think Skull didn't do anything there, by the way. We used Mighty Blow on the armor. So we have eight. They have a full team. Uh, okay, so we just do what we always do and score again. Let's see how this dwarf team sets up. I wonder if I had an Appa, would I have used it on the badly hurt war dancer? I might have. Do we dare to do this? Yeah, okay. Let's try it. It depends on where the ball goes. Wait, don't I have... Do I have less fan faction than them? No, we just rolled the same. Who's Ace Tell? Okay, that's... That's bad. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, wait. You're stunned. I missed that. Fucked up. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
Because they're all on a row here, meaning I have to do this. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you guys aren't in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you have to cut this corner. Or you knock this down and go stand dudes here, I guess. Let's find out what they do. Both down is good here for me. Because um, it stops this guy moving forward. So you can only get to here. And now there's no shortcut through here if they want to do that. There's still, there's not molds right now. There's not. They're just for a half. And it's the second half now. Okay, let's see where this guy goes. sad. Okay, good. Snake eye. I think you can put tackle on him now. How do I like the wood elves in Blood Bowl 3? Uh, they're, they're fine. The fact that Leap got nerfed means that they're um, less cool and based on based on the amount of uh, you know. Bash teams on the ladder, I think it's... It's hard for them this season. And also with with the passing nerf, they're, uh... Like, they have to play a running game more often, which is not what they like. But luckily, we're up against dwarves a lot, so... So far, been okay. Who won that? We did. Uh, okay. Congrats. I now have... I have three pieces with Mighty Blow. And they have none. I still haven't managed to do anything about that now. I think the main benefit uh, Wood Elves have this season uh, is that there seems to be, like, a decent chunk of people that don't really know what they're doing. As in, they're not, they're, like, 
they're uh, like not that the coaches don't know what they're doing with the team but since they haven't played against wood elves recently they don't necessarily know what the wood elves game plan is because everyone's like so far which admittedly isn't much of a much of a data set but like almost no one is protecting the back very much uh which is weird to me because it means i can just run through with a bunch of dudes and then steal the ball okay let's okay let's see if this uh troll slayer manages dauntless this time around they failed they failed almost every time right prior to this oh free hit nice well we're not gonna get that guy up But this is also the part of the game where um, I'm like, I'm 2-0 up. These doors are not going to be able to score twice on me. So I should just... The plan should just be to kind of like slow them down and not necessarily engage too hard. Okay, badly hurt. That's fine. They're safe. Then we don't have to worry about it. It does still sting though when they're like 10 10, which I think the other, the fouled one was as well. Because 10 10, I also injure with, but I'm not. I, like, with that said, I think I've done like. I, I maybe do a blitz per turn, and then nothing else, so. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Free block. Okay, I take back what I said. Oh, that's 10-10. Apo should come out here. Yeah. Oh, neck injury, ow. Well, okay, minus agility. Uh, minus agility on a blitzer is probably not something you want. Did my mighty blow didn't do shit there. Shocking. You know what? We'll re-roll that one.
Le legit lost almost every game against agility in global three because 95 of my games were against bash first yeah like if you're really used to bash i think it's i think you i think like people that identify as like identify oh jesus Christ. say they're like elf coaches i think they do have an advantage in that they kind of you know they know how how this matchup is played and if you just played bash and you'd like i'm gonna be dwarfs because they have tackle and that's really good against elves um i think you're uh i think you'll have a hard time i think it I think a better matchup that's harder for elves is probably like undead because they have whites that can really quickly get tackle and they have like two pieces with block tackle that has some like decent mobility and movement and then you're like well cool Okay, I, I mean, are you sure? Hasn't taken root yet. Here we go. Let's surf this dude then. They can counter surf me, but I don't really care. Damn. Yeah, like everything is kicking off. We're all, we're all getting like horrible injuries here. I was gonna say, where's my last guy? And then I was like, it's over here, refusing to stand up. Okay, so both, both of the blitzers are dead. This one is minus armor, and this one is minus agility. And what do I have that's dead? Uh, the, uh, well, that's a loner. Where's my other loner? Okay, so that's a miss next. Badly hurt, badly hurt, badly hurt. Where? Hang on. Didn't I have... Am I not supposed to have two loners? Oh, he's over there. Cool. They'll actually be down to nine dwarfs uh, once we get the ball back. I just realized these guys are called burgundy dwarfs, but they're they're blue. We don't need rerolls because we roll one regardless. So, what we're hoping for here is that they keep stalling. So they have two turns to tie, unless a riot happens. We have six pieces. We can score with six.
Dude, don't. Just put them one further back. Come on now. Actually, uh, let's do it this way. Perfect. Yay! I mean, that's not great for them, but it's yay for us because that's two SPP and Horn Connery. Uh. We're going to greet it. Oh. Okay, so now they can tie. But I think that was still the correct play. Because, like... Remember, in, in Blood Bowl 3, Blood Bowl uh, second season, uh, you get 10k extra money for every touchdown you make. So, and we need money. Hey, thanks, Dobson. Now the thing to remember here is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. What's your total movement? It's sixteen. Okay, see, so you have just enough movement if you run, pick it up, and then rush, rush. That's not the correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not. No, you need to go straight down. Okay. So that leaves us with. Uh, it's annoying. Uh, but at least we have a, we have a decent chance at this, right? Yeah, let's oh, actually, hang on. I think we still do this.
Oh, no. Um, are they going to be able to do that, though? Not if I do this. Okay, if I go here. Well, I won't. So now it's a it's a three plus two plus two plus to tie, which is probably gonna happen. So, 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus. How hard is that? Not very. With a reroll. Let's. Dave, a. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus. 77% 70, 70 chance. Yep. That sucks. But it's like, we could have played it safe. But I wanted more money. Uh. So, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a trade-off, I guess. It's also, it came down to, like... Ugh. Okay, admittedly, one SR, not worth it. Well, we murdered that team, didn't we? Because we get three, <laughs> three dudes that are, like, dead. Um... So, let's go to our team. And first of all, the most most importantly, let's let's put on this uh wow. Okay. So, uh I wonder if it's uh it's probably straight leader. Yeah, let's go leader. I want the rerolls. And then it's get this apo in here ASAP. Hey Stel Hide, what's what's your problem? You're you just missed next. Is anyone else feeling real bad? Or like bad injuries? No. Okay, uh I want to say tackle because it's our mighty blow piece. The other option I think is sidestep. But going greedy has worked well for us so far. Uh, no, it wasn't. The moles only worked in the first half. Uh, so they weren't around in the second one. Uh, as because at least I don't think they were at when I looked at Prez enough, although there was nothing active. Yeah, I mean, with Trok, I also think that safe is boring. And if you're going to do elf bullshit, you should do elf bullshit. It just kind of sucks when you can't do elf bullshit and then your opponent gets to do the elf bullshitty stuff. Because I think mine was easier than theirs. It was a... What was it? It was a... It's a two plus pass into a two plus catch. I, I had to do, I had to do four two pluses. Is what I had to do. And they had to make, uh, two, one pickup and a total of four rush and one dodge. Um, oh right, we were talking about, do we random these? I think we, I think we should. Actually, let's have a look at. Yeah, we might get, we might get something good. Uh, we'll have to stick with them for a game though, regardless. Uh, I think we're going to go random here because there's more stuff that I like than here. Uh, 
Uh, we of course got like the second worst one. Fart bath, you also get random. That's much better, thank you. Okay, so we got one good one and we got one shit one. Because no one, like, no one's gonna dodge away from a wood elf lineman. They're gonna punch him. But, uh, this is also, like, at some point in the future, we're gonna be getting, we're gonna buy some catchers. Uh, so, we can replace our bad line elves at that point. Even with, like, strip ball for 10k is great. Shadowing for 10k is honestly, like, the best you could get for shadowing, I think. So... I think we're I think we're okay there and two victories one draw feels good so far